Welcome, my friends. Today, in this video, we will talk about a story that was transmitted in books about Napoleon Bonaparte, and I read it, but I do not know how true and true it is, but we will narrate it and mention it to you and assume its truth, and I will leave you a comment on it. When Napoleon withdrew from Moscow, it is said that he carried away the antiques and jewelry in museums, churches, and noble homes. It is said that he carried everything they had. If we go back to the historians, we would find that they exaggerated about who took it, or exaggerated that he refused to take anything. If we read what the English writer Walter Scott wrote about Napoleon, we would find that he described Napoleon as a man to whom all summits submitted. All values collapsed before him, and he abstained from all gold and jewelry. He was a man who carried on his shoulders a genius more precious than jewelry. He completely refused to fill his pockets with anything other than his ideas and plans. That is, he did not take anything with him. But French historians confirm that Napoleon carried with him boxes full of jewels. It is said that when he left Moscow, a little boy came to him and said, Your Majesty the Emperor, everything is over, go back to your country. Napoleon shouted, Who is this? Kill him. When the bullets were fired at the child, he had disappeared behind the trees as the snow fell. He had barely disappeared when another child appeared and said, Emperor, to whom are you carrying these jewelry? Throw them in the lake. Throw them all except one. This one is the one that will protect you from death and defeat. Napoleon did not want to look at the child, but one of his officers approached and said, Who are you? The child said, I am like Napoleon, the son of the sun. He is also the son of the sun. This blue diamond, which the emperor keeps in his pocket, fell from the sun, or its rays fall on him and on us as if it were the sun. The emperor revolted, as he had hidden a huge diamond in his small pocket. He quickly reached into his pocket and took it out, but it fell from his hand into the mud, and the child's hand reached for it and disappeared into his pocket. The child disappeared, and Napoleon convinced all his officers that he was dreaming and that they shared this dream with him, and they believed him. Napoleon was able to influence his officers and soldiers and inspire them with anything. Historians wonder, what is this diamond? Where did it come from? Napoleon mentioned this once while talking to his doctor in exile on the island of St. Helena. Among what Napoleon said was, this child is a wondrous being, and his astonishment, anger, and complete absorption distracted him from looking at him for a long time. Perhaps Napoleon, through his strong observation, was the first to point out that there were inscriptions, white on the rocks of St. Helena of men who looked like this child, and each one of them held a diamond or a solar disk. But why? We don't know how the story ends here. And you, my friends, what do you think? Is this story true? Who is this child that Napoleon met, and what did he want to say when he said that Napoleon is also the son of the sun? Leave your comments and opinions about this story below the video. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button. Goodbye.